it used to be that part of growing up as a guy was learning how to do some of the small things around the house. Changing light fixtures, fixing a toilet, changing the oil in the family car. But somewhere along the way, people stop teaching their kids how to do that and now everybody pays everything to do stuff. Well, that's not going to happen here. And while we're not going to just go straight into building this race car, my kid's going to learn how to do an oil change and we'll give you a little bit of a how-to along the way. The first thing you want to do is find out what grade of oil your manufacturer recommends for your vehicle. We're going to be using a 5W30 oil and buy a good quality filter like something from Pure Later. They've got their classic filter that to choose from, one specifically for synthetic oil and my favorite one, the Pure One, which includes a nice grippy surface to make it easy to get the filter on and off the car. The most important thing when working at home is to use the right equipment like proper jack and safety stands to prevent any injuries while you're working on the vehicle. Before you pick the vehicle up with the jack, be sure to put the parking brake on and chalk the rear wheels. Got a bit on my hand, but yeah. Here. it's off. Now tighten it. Yeah. Undo it. Yeah. Is it going? Yeah. Come off? Yep. Just keep spinning. And just turn it in. Put out put it in there. Wipe your hands. Where you get. Once the filter is drained, you want to clean off the mating surface and make sure there isn't an old gasket stuck in place because that'll cause a major leak. So before you put the filter on you want to get your finger dipped in the oil and just lubricate the seal itself, no the rubber bit. There you go and get the whole rubber bit. Make sure it doesn't cross thread. Make sure it goes on smoothly. Yeah, it is. And then when it gets tight, yeah. just give it a good firm twist, but you don't want to reef on it. Okay. Now that everything's buttoned up underneath, you're going to put oil in the engine. Use a funnel. Cheap one from an auto parts store, not a kitchen funnel. Mom can't use it after you've put oil in it. Once you're done filling, you want to check the oil dipstick to make sure you've got the level right. Clean it and then put it back in for the start test. you've done your start test you want to go back look for leaks and check the oil level again just to make sure everything's the way you want it. Now that you've done your first oil change you'll realize you maybe only saved 10 or 15 bucks but there's that satisfaction of knowing that you've done it yourself and you know that it's been done correctly. So thanks for visiting the garage guy and have fun changing your oil.